Mastering User Interface Design Non-design stakeholders speak, designs change, or they're ignored. When non-design stakeholders provide feedback on the design, how does the design team incorporate their input and address their concerns to ensure that their voices are heard and valued in the design process? To ensure that non-design stakeholders' voices are heard and valued in the design process, the design team should establish a structured feedback loop that encourages open communication, fosters collaboration, and incorporates their input in a meaningful way. This can be achieved through the following steps. Clearly define the feedback process. Establish a well-defined feedback process that outlines the roles, responsibilities, and expectations of all stakeholders involved. This process should include the types of feedback sought, the channels for providing feedback, and the timelines for response and implementation. This clarity will help set the stage for a smooth and efficient feedback process. Provide education and context. Often on design stakeholders a solid understanding of the design process, the design principles, and the project goals. This education can be provided through workshops, presentations, or one-on-one -on -one sessions, depending on the stakeholder's needs and preferences. By providing context, non-design stakeholders will be better equipped to provide meaningful feedback that aligns with the project objectives. Gather feedback through multiple channels. Implement a multi-channel approach to gathering feedback, including 1. Regular meetings, schedule recurring meetings with non-design stakeholders to discuss design concepts, prototypes, or final designs. This will provide an opportunity for stakeholders to share their thoughts and concerns in a structured environment. 2. Online feedback tools. Utilize online feedback tools, such as survey software or collaboration platforms, to collect feedback from a larger group of stakeholders or to gather input on specific design elements. 3. Open-ended feedback requests. Encourage stakeholders to provide feedback through open-ended requests, allowing them to share their thoughts and opinions in their own words. 4. Walkthroughs and usability testing, invite stakeholders to participate in walkthroughs or usability testing sessions, where they can provide feedback on interactive designs. Analyze and prioritize feedback. Develop a system to analyze and prioritize the feedback received from non-design stakeholders. This can be achieved by 1. Categorizing feedback, categorize feedback into themes, such as usability, visual design, or functionality, to identify patterns and areas of concern. 2. Assigning feedback to design elements, associate each piece of feedback with specific design elements, making it easier to address and implement changes. 3. Prioritizing feedback. Prioritize feedback based on its impact on the user experience, business goals, and the project timeline. Address concerns and implement feedback. Establish a process to address the feedback and concerns raised by non-design stakeholders. This includes 1. Acknowledge and respond. Acknowledge each piece of feedback and respond to the stakeholder providing an explanation of how their input will be addressed or why it cannot be implemented. 2. Design updates and refinements. Implement design updates and refinements based on the prioritized feedback, ensuring that the changes align with the project goals and objectives. 3. Feedback loop closure. Close the feedback loop by providing stakeholders with updates on how their input has been incorporated into the design, ensuring that they feel valued and heard. Measure and improve the feedback process. Regularly assess the effectiveness of the feedback process and identify areas for improvement. This can be achieved by 1. Stakeholder feedback on the feedback process Solicit feedback from non-design stakeholders on the feedback process itself, 
providing insights into what works well and what can be improved. 2. Design team reflection, hold regular retrospectives or post-project reviews to discuss the design team's experience with the feedback process, identifying lessons learned and opportunities for growth. By implementing these steps, the design team can ensure that non-design stakeholders' voices are heard and valued in the design process, leading to a more collaborative, user-centered, and effective design outcome.